Hey, this is Kevin Lynch. I'm gonna show you how to make a super thin style of pizza known as bar pie or tavern style. Bar pie is popular in working class bars in places like North New Jersey, Stamford, Connecticut, and the south side of Chicago. Everybody makes their bar pie a little bit different, but the key is that it's super thin and it's super crispy. Some places make bar pie in a pan, some places make it right on the stone, and a lot of places use the pan and then finish it on the stone, and that's the way I like to make it. So I have my oven on at 550 right now, and my stone has been in there for an hour to get it nice and hot. You'll see a lot of different types of pans. These aluminum pans, which are great for serving pizza, don't seem to hold heat very well in an oven. So I really like to use a pan made of steel. So as far as steel pans, for $5, I got this 12 and a half inch pan from Target. It's got a nice little ridge on it, which is great for making bar pie. Or I have this 14 inch Chicago metallic steel pan, which is great for making Chicago style deep dish or the thin crust bar pie. Today I'm gonna make bar pie in my 14 inch pan and I'm gonna use that nine ounce dough ball. If you have a 12 inch pan, I'd recommend a seven ounce dough ball. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some extra virgin olive oil and put it in the bottom of my pan. And I'm just going to rub it in. As you can see, I have a nice coating of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. I don't like my pizza swimming in olive oil, but enough to make the pizza separate from the pan and enough to get it nice and hot on the bottom. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch my dough ball out to about 14 inches so it fits in the pan. So here's my nine ounce dough ball. I put my dough recipe in the description, but you can also get dough at the grocery store. You want your dough at room temperature before making pizza, so make sure to take it out of the refrigerator about three hours before you start. So I'm gonna carefully take my dough out of my Tupperware here and dip it in flour. I really wanna coat each side of this dough ball pretty good with flour. Then I'm gonna put it on a floured surface. I'm gonna start out hand stretching the dough to make sure it stays round. Use the flat parts of your fingers, not necessarily the tip. I'm just going in a circular motion to keep it round. Now that my dough ball's a little bit stretched out, I'm gonna take out my roller and stretch it out to the 14 inches. Make sure you put some more flour on there. Maybe put a little bit on the roller. I'm just gonna try to roll it evenly in each direction. So I've rolled out my pizza dough. It's not perfectly round, but that's okay. That's what the pan is for. So I'm gonna take this dough and just drop it into the pan. So it's in here now. I'm just gonna take the edges and put them right up against the sides of the pan. So your dough should move around nice and easy in here with the olive oil. Kind of maneuver your dough so that it fits in here just perfectly. As you can see, it's starting to get there. I got a little bit more work to do. So just keep pinching the dough up against the sides. And there we are, we have it in there pretty good. So you're not gonna want a lot of crust on your bar pie. So I'm gonna take the sauce and cheese and put it right up against the edge of the pan. Since bar pie is a super thin pizza, I don't like to use a ton of sauce or a ton of cheese. So I got my sauce in there. So really you can just put your favorite pizza sauce in there. You can see my pizza sauce recipe in the description or just any pizza sauce you like from the store. Now I'm gonna take my cheese and put it in here. And if you like that caramelized cheese edge, you can put it right up against the edge of the pan. So I'm not gonna use a ton of cheese since it's a super thin pizza. When you use less cheese, it'll burn easier and people really like burnt cheese on their bar pie. So you can see the amount of cheese I put on there. On all my pizzas, I like a little bit of Romano and a little bit of Parmesan. So I got my mozzarella, my Parmesan, and my Romano on the pizza. I like some oregano on my pizza, and you can use fresh oregano or dried oregano. Today, I have some fresh oregano from the garden. I'm just gonna sprinkle this on here. I always like a little bit of black pepper on my pizza. If you just want a cheese pizza, it's ready to go in the oven. But today, I'm in the mood for a pepperoni pizza and a sausage and peppers pizza. 
So I'm gonna do half on one side and half on the other. So I'm just gonna take my pepperonis and put them on half the pizza. Then I'm gonna do my sausage and peppers on the other side. So I got my sausage on there. I'm gonna put some green pepper on it now. I like a little bit of onion too. All right, so this pizza is ready to go in the oven. I got a half pepperoni and half sausage and peppers. I'm gonna cook it for five minutes in the pan on top of the stone. And then I'm gonna take the pizza out of the pan and put it right on top of the stone and finish it for six more minutes. It's been five minutes, so I'm gonna take the pizza out of the oven. So now I'm gonna take my pizza and transfer it from the pan to the peel. And I put a little bit of cornmeal on the peel so I can slide it right on the stone. So I'm just gonna slide it off. I'm holding the pizza pan with a glove and I'm gonna use a spatula to scoop it out. All right, now we're gonna slide it back on the stone. All right, it's been six minutes. Now listen to this crunch. So in New Jersey, they cut it like traditional pizza. In Chicago, they do the square cut. For the sausage and pepper, sausage is very popular in Chicago. I'll do the square cut and I'll do traditional for the pepperoni. It's delicious. It's thin, it's crispy, and it would be perfect at a bar stool.